You've been waiting all day for it. It's The Law and You, where we give you free legal advice. Joining us from home, we have attorneys Ed Saramboli and Greg Fellerman back for more legal fun. Nice to have you both with us. You should just have us doing the law on you like three times a day at this point. I mean, we'll I think we have enough questions to answer. Absolutely. Yeah. We are getting a flood of questions. Thank you to the viewers. Yeah, they're yeah. stuck at home. They have nothing else to do. Why not get free legal advice? Like this viewer who sent in this question, Andrew in Scranton, he says, I see that the state is talking about immunity for nursing homes during COVID. My grandfather recently died in a nursing home, and I think they were negligent. How is this fair? It's not. I mean, it's absolutely not fair. I mean, these nursing homes are, you know, they're corporations. And so, you know, there, there are already protections that are in place for, you know, for nursing homes. Um, it, it's the law. Uh, they have to be negligent under the circumstances. So if the circumstances are that you have a virus that everybody knows can spread very easily and rapidly, then you have to do, you know, take reasonable precautions. You have to be reasonable under those set of circumstances. So if you just turn a blind eye to it, then, I mean, you know, now it's not fair. I mean, that they're, they're literally getting away with, with, with murder, at, you know, at this point. And it's just absolutely, absolutely <laughs> not fair. And, and really another, bl another blow to, to the most vulnerable, you know, people in our, in our population. Well, and the immunity concept is a, is, a, is, a, is a tricky one because once you start throwing the word immunity, you know, most corporations will, will do as minimal as they have to and now you say you're immune from it, they're not gonna do anything. And you know, the one thing I got, you know, Ed and I talked about this over the weekend, but I, you know, the legislature should caution themselves and think about it, who they're voting when they put immunity in. They're voting against their constituents, the people that live in their district, their parents and grandparents that live in those nursing homes. So I know you wanna, you know, take care of the, the, the businesses, but at the end of the day, you're there to help your constituents and this won't help them. All right, so if you find yourself in this situation, pick up the phone, give them a call, find them online and social media. If you have more questions for the law on you, go to pahomepage.com.